Yeah, I think, you know, uh, really appreciate teams like Baylor uh, to do a home-and-home. Home. Uh, we have a tough time scheduling it as it is. Um, but it's great, I think, uh, that it's a game that's going to help both teams out, especially early in the season. Um, they're very good, very good. They're deep. They're well coached, like always. So it's a it's a it's a good opportunity for us to go on the road, our first road trip, and and play a very very sound opponent. So our team defense has to be really really good, and we got to do a great job on the glass. Their scores, That's for sure. Their scores have been pretty absurd. What, what have you seen? From well, they're a little they're a little different. We haven't watched a lot of the you know more personnel film from their games this year. Um, more style of play from last last year in their big games because um, they've just scored so much on transition and 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 they've played a different type of opponent the first three games too. So um, so you can't really see a lot of you can see a lot of you know how how important it is to take care of the basketball and there can't be any live ball turnovers and and um, some of the schemes, but. You know, they were just so better than all three of their first opponents that they just scored on you know, a lot of times on talent alone. And so um, it'll be a great atmosphere. I remember last time we were there, um, played them in that the preseason NIT, and um, it was that, that game ended up being a great game for us for the rest of the, to get us ready for, for, league, for league play. You, um, your non-conference scheduling philosophy has been well documented, but is this – particular non-conference schedule this year because it's could this be your toughest i don't know we well we'll see we gotta on paper it looked pretty good we just gotta make sure that the teams that we play will continue to win i know baylor's gonna be really good uh type of year they had we still got the teams in 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 cancun and and then in vegas but um you know it's great to have the ability to schedule home and homes against baylor and in texas we've you know, Sherry at Oklahoma, who did our home and home, Ohio State, Louisville. Um, so we, we've, we've been able to, to get some really good home and homes, and we appreciate coaches like, like them and programs like the ones that they have to, to put us on our schedule for, for two years because it's not an easy job to, to, get, to, to get games. You know, that's why we got to play, get five really good ones on a neutral floor. But you want to get two, three home and homes every year against uh, top 25, top 40 opponents. So we're thankful for that, for that opportunity. What's the main incentive? Is it to prepare for non -con to prepare for conference play or LPI or both? A little bit of both, without a doubt, because you're, you're you're playing a whole different level of uh, of team talent. Uh, coaching staff preparation so yeah it gets you ready for for league play because you've played a different type of opponent leading into league play but you know league play is not till another 10 games so um, it's definitely through for strength of schedule and RPI and for seeding but these are the type of wins I think that that you have to prepare your team for to to win that second round NCAA game to get to that second weekend or the that third game you play in the NCAA tournament. So that's why that's why we're doing it. I know you said you haven't watched much film of Baylor yet, but there shouldn't be any many surprises. Who kind of sticks out? Oh, we watched we watched all three of their games. Our staff did. You know, our players we didn't show them much uh, because you know the, the opponents that they played: New Hampshire, Grambling State, and uh, Houston Baptist. You saw the scores. You know, it was it was watching a track meet and a layup fest. So that's what it was. I know you prepared for Texas as though they were going to be fully healthy. Mm -hmm. What's the difference if Cox plays or not? Does that change how you might approach it offensively? No. no. You guys uh, healthy going in? Everybody good? Yeah, everybody's good. Just uh, Lazic's still out um, with with some back issues. Um, you know, Harvey, Harvey, Harvey went and did some conditioning, no contact. Uh, just started her her getting back into the fold of stuff. Um, so that's where we're at. Because of that, were you encouraged when Maria came in? Point, Robbie yeah. Became an option then too. Yeah, yeah. Because those two guys, all we need them to do is to 
play some limited minutes there. Well, we don't we don't play pins on pins on 38 to 40. Right. We can play her 29 31 if we could just save three four minutes at a time for her. Well, I know that we're all very excited to play them. You know, it's a big opportunity, and uh, you know, when Texas came in, we had another. That was a big opportunity as well, but. Uh, this one is definitely one that we're very excited about and we're ready to go on the road and, you know, play against a top team. There's so many difficult parts of playing them, not only how good they are, but it's going to be in their place. Do you have to do a little extra preparation for how it's going to actually be in hostile territory and that kind of thing? Well, uh, we we kind of go on the road and we know that all places are going to be hostile. So uh, we take that and we kind of you know, play, stay, stay in our own mindset and stay how we play. And we, I mean, we know, you know, refs are going to be refs and things aren't going to be called. Things will be called, you know, um, but we just go out there and we play how we play and we're, we'll be fine. Part of that, though, is you're going to have some players going into that. I know they played internationally, but, uh, you know, first time in a college environment. Do you have confidence in the freshmen, their ability to handle that thing? Oh yeah, I have so much confidence in them. They've showed us so much since day one of playing. Um, you know, they came, even at practices, they came in and, you know, they show that they're ready to fight anybody, no matter what. So we're definitely excited to go over there and I'm excited for them because, you know, they get to travel now, so it'll be fun. I'm very excited. I think everybody is because, like T said, it's a big matchup, you know, like Baylor, everybody know them. So we're very excited to see what we can do against a big team. So very ready. Was Baylor on your radar when you were at uh, Neo? Did you know about them you know, last year, last couple of years? Sure, because uh, last year they were, they were champion. So everybody know about them. So like I said, it's a big matchup and everybody's excited and ready to play against them to see like how we are. I mean, we know we're good, but how good we can be and how well we can play with each other, and especially for the freshmen, because we have a lot of potential in this team. And even the freshmen, they need to understand that they're good. They deserve to be in the, in the team. So playing, I guess, Bella, is, it, it's a, it will be a good experience. You mentioned they're the national champions. I mean, what have you, there shouldn't be many secrets, you know, with regard to Baylor, right? Can like you, repeat you, you You should know what you should expect going in, right? Right, I mean, we know it's gonna be, very, very intense, very physical, especially inside. Uh, we're just ready to fight. I mean, every day is a fight, but today I think we'll have to push a little bit more. So, yeah. You've already beaten some good teams, but this is a team that's pretty much on a whole nother level. Is the locker room just feeling maybe a little bit nervous, or are you just all excited for it? We're excited about every, for every games, but today, especially because this is the first game away and against Baylor, we champion last year, so. We have a lot of pressure, but we're ready. You mentioned their physical play. Is it a point of concern that to, to try and stay out of foul trouble because that could hurt in a game like this? Definitely. We have to be careful, especially as post players, because we love to block shot, of course. So we have to be smart, and I think uh, we, ha we will have to pick and choose. Don't be like stupid and just put our hands down. We have to be straight up and help each other, uh, make sure we are on the right spot at, at the right time, rotation, transition, and everything will be fine. It's no secret that you've been playing pretty well. What's what's kept you going? Thank you. Well, I love the game, you know. I'm, I'm playing with passion, and for me to be here is an amazing experience. And I know a lot of people back in Belgium, they're praying to be at my place, so I cannot mess it up. I'm just playing hard and trying to do my best. I mean, I saw your field goal percentage numbers. I just assumed it would all be putbacks, but you have that mid-range jumper. That's not a, a given shot. When did you start to become good at that part of the game? Honestly, I became more confident in myself uh, two years ago in my private school because every day I practiced, we were shooting, just shooting, 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 shooting. And I didn't even know I could shoot, to be honest. My coach was telling me, Betty, you have a good form, so let's just work on it. And he gave me a lot of confidence in myself. And over here, I mean, I, w I mean, the staff is very good at it. Uh, we have a lot of practices, and your practices. So it's, it's about repetition. Mm -hmm. So I guess this is what it is. No secrets.